Hey, it's Mr. D, band teacher, back again for a performance video of Great Scott by Lenny Niehaus. It's from the Kendor Recital Series book. <laughs> So that was Great Scott, a level one alto saxophone piece by the composer Lenny Niehaus. It's part of the Kendor Recital Series book. And just a few notes about the piece uh, as you learn to prepare it. First, of course, uh, the piece was slower than what was written. It was actually around metro marking, metronome marking 107. This is saying metronome marking 132, so it is pretty quick. But again, I'm doing the video just as a reference video. Um, you'll work on speed uh, as you get more comfortable with the song. So there is a rhythm at measure five that occurs multiple times throughout the song. It is uh, two eighths, eighth rest, followed by a single eighth note and the two quarters. So it's ba 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 ba. So make sure that you play that clear, uh, cleanly and clearly observe the single eighth rest on beat two. It's on the downbeat of beat two, so just be careful of that. Um, primarily this piece is mezzo forte. Uh, there is one contrasting section at 13 where we go up to forte. Um, let's see. Other than that, we have the accents at the end. There is a crescendo right before 13, so make sure that you observe all the dynamics. And uh, it's a great piece for you to learn um, the single eighth uh, rest rhythm. So, as always, make sure that you use the video as a reference. Um, don't just spend your time on YouTube. Practice it on your own. Seek out a private teacher who can help you with all the little nuances of both the saxophone and the piece to make it the best possible performance that you can do. And as always, uh, don't, don't forget to go to a music store and purchase the original music. Composers do need to get paid, and we need to support them as musicians by purchasing, not photocopying. So have a great day, and we'll see you soon. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my page.